Hello everyone, my name is David Kryjak from Defer Technology Services and today we're going to be showing you how to edit a blog in a Squarespace website. Here's an example from one of my clients, Flip and Write, um, and I'm going to show you how we can edit and add blog posts today. So first we need to get into the website configuration so we can go to squarespace.com once that loads we're going to want to log in in the top area it'll ask us for a username and password once we log in we can go to the website that we want to edit if you have multiple websites so I want to edit flippinright.com and it'll take us into this configuration page so you want to know how to get to your blog so a blog is one of the pages of your website so we want to navigate to the pages section then the blog title in the main navigation page which is actually referencing up here so we can go to blog and now we're into the nitty-gritty of how you're gonna make your blog posts so here's two blog posts that I've already made today um, however, I'd like to make a new one today. So we can head up to the Add Post button here. It's going to ask for a title and a little bit of text. Since I already have what I'd like to post, I'm going to copy and paste it, but you can type what you'd like in these boxes here. And since I have everything, I'm just going to edit that how I'd like it, take off the italicize. Um, now I have my text and I have my title. Um, now let's say I'd like to add an image, which I do have in my downloads folder. So we can go ahead and click the plus button down here and Squarespace gives you many options. You can add images, videos, audio files, um, a slideshow of images, anything you can think of to put in a blog post, Squarespace has it available to you. So you can go ahead and click the image tab since that's what I'd like to import and very simple we can just add an image click the image that I'd like it will upload it to the website should take a second or two okay there we go now I can add a caption if I'd like uh, but I don't feel the need to do that so we can go ahead and click the little drop down and do do not display caption we can give the image a name if I'd like to which I don't feel is necessary for this blog post so that's fine uh, a light box I always recommend because people can click on it and I'll show you that in a minute and dark overlay is usually the best bet so once we're done doing everything on the image we can go ahead and hit apply the image is now inserted into our blog post. I have my title, my text, and my image. I can enable comments or disable comments. Um, personally, the client would like the comments off, so we can keep uh, comments off. Tags for your blog post, categories if you blog about different things, etc. Um, I can save this blog for later. Uh, if I chose to do so or like I would like to do right now we can save it and publish it so I click this here and boom within seconds uh, our new blog post is up and running and if I go ahead and refresh it on the live configuration you can see that the blog post has successfully updated and should show our new blog post after we reload simple as that Thanks so much for watching the video, guys, and I will see you in the next one.